So I am a public facing attorney. My name is on every single video description or should be. My resume, my LinkedIn, which is the resume, is on every single video description. And I've been a practicing attorney for more than 10 years. I passed patent bar exam when I was 21. So I am essentially 90% patent attorney, 10% immigration. Large majority of immigration I do is pro bono work, which means I, I don't get paid for it. So in terms of how I get money as a lawyer, it's 100% patent, which is intellectual property. So Moon Channel, and let me kind of explain, he became very popular after he told people he was a lawyer. So there is a time gap where he didn't actually say he was a lawyer and the content had very le little to do legally. But then he made two videos on Sega and Nintendo on intellectual property. And that kind of blew up his channel and then he kept going from there. You can see that he makes very good videos every you know few months, maybe three videos a month, two videos a month. Um, he mentioned that his sponsors like seeing two videos a month. But in reality, uh, this only began after the whole idea that he was a lawyer. Now, could have he became a lawyer between three years ago and one year ago? Maybe. Um, quite possibly, yeah. But we don't actually have any information and in why this is different from, let's say, somebody representing as a doctor or uh, a business analyst, or I work at Wall Street, is that in many states, including the state that I'm in, New York, and in Texas, uh, if you hold out yourself out to be a lawyer, and you're not actually a lawyer, that is a crime. So let me repeat that again. If you say that I'm a lawyer, even online, and you're not a lawyer, that is a crime in many states in the US. So we get into the argument of Moon Channel's argument, which is very poorly constructed. Um, let me explain. Now, I, I graduated Will and Mary in 2012, but the first thing you learn in law school is how to write a, p a paper, how to do a legal argument. The first thing you do is you look at the facts and you restate the facts. Every single litigation case, every single civil or criminal case is the very same. You have to figure out the facts. Uh, you spend a lot of time in something called discovery. You do interrogatories, you do depositions, you do affirmations. There is a lot of time pre-trial pre dedicated to the facts. Moon Channel spent minimal to no time on the facts. Of the completionist. This to me is quite bizarre. This to me is very weird that a lawyer would not understand that the facts define the case. And I, I'm not talking about I'm talking about torts, civil law, like criminal law. I'm, I'm talking about every single class. Basically, in law school, the first thing you do is you look at the facts, and then you say, okay, this is what happened. Okay, this is kind of unique. And some of the facts are actually at contested, right? Then you go over the legal theory. In my professional opinion and personal opinion, Moon Channel did not look at the facts. He actually admitted to not looking at all the facts. And even to the point where um, plenty, a lot of facts were available. And he he either missed it or he did not look even beyond the surface area. So I'm a little shocked, right? And here's the danger. Here's the danger. When he made that video, any lawyer would watch that video and say, you know what? He's wrong. This is terrible. This is very, very poor representation of our profession. Because every lawyer knows you look at the facts first then you look at the legal analysis, then you come to your conclusion. Without any fact finding, without any fact, and, and I think it, it says it best where this is a very dangerous thing to say 
for a lawyer to say this is how we look at cases is absurd in my opinion. I, I'm just going to put out, and this is hopefully my last video on this, I am appalled. I, I truly am appalled. And again, because the, the first thing he's doing is he's asking you to believe that he's a lawyer with no evidence. Just the way he talks, the way he, his candor. <laughs> we don't know anything about his legal, or even if he was a lawyer, what type of law he practices in, right? O other than his profile, which you can be saying that. You can change that today if you wanted to. Um, I find it very strange that a lawyer would not look at all the facts, go to legal theory, which is just him reading off laws, right? State laws. And then, and then analyzing, and then the conclusion. Like, that's an F paper. I can tell you. you know, I can tell you. That's an F. If a lawyer were to run a case like Moon Channel did with the completionists, that's, an, that's a straight up F. Because you did not look at the facts of the case. So no matter what your legal analysis is, it cannot be correct. Because you applied it to the wrong set of facts or a missing set of facts. And any basic law student can tell you that you will fail. You will fail. If there are facts out there and you actively ignore them or you don't look for them or, you know, that you don't. So I'm not accusing Moon Channel of anything, right? I'm just saying it's, it's to me, it. it it, it doesn't seem like, you know, I don't know what university he went to, what law school he went to. I don't even know if he is a U.S. attorney. That, that's what we're assuming, right, based on his videos. But I do know that the way that he presented that video, which is now deleted, is very bizarre. Um, it, it's quite bizarre that the facts that he, I mean, and again... You know, Carl accepted his apology, but Carl doesn't speak for me, right? And he doesn't speak for all of you. It's a bizarre take from a lawyer. From one lawyer to another potential lawyer, it's a bizarre take. And, and the first thing he wants you to believe is that he is a lawyer, and therefore you should listen to him because he knows more than you, the non-lawyer. Where every single lawyer from day 10 of law school, understands the first thing you do in any essay, let's say you have a three-hour essay, the first thing you do for 20 or 30 minutes is you read the facts and you read them again. I think every lawyer is taught this. And then you try to highlight or underline any of the facts that are different from what you expected them to be or any facts that are contested. Then you make your legal analysis and, and people in the comments, they were commenting, wow, great job, <laughs> five, five, this is great. And I was like, what the hell, right? Like, you know, <laughs> you know what the hell is going on here? Like, <laughs> there is no legal analysis, guys, if there is no facts. The legal analysis is 100% dependent on the facts. Right? I mean, I mean, Jesus. And then you read the comments and they're all positive and they're all like, man, you're crushing it. Wow, I could listen to you to talk about tax law for the next two hours. Like, I'm like, what? It's so different from the comments I get. Hey, are you a real attorney? And all the things on the, on the description. Hey, are you a real attorney? Are you sure you're a real attorney? I got my real name. I mean, this is like, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, it's, it's, this is what irks me so much, right? I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> this is bizarre as hell, man. That you have the old, the, and, that a guy can tell you that he's a attorney. You, you, there's no name. There's no bar that you, you know nothing about his legal background. Nothing. Then he makes a case where he completely ignores all the facts. <laughs> and everyone's clapping their hands as if this is like a Supreme Court justice ruling on something intellectual. 
this is so effing bizarre, guys. Like, it, it's it, it's so weird to see this in real time. And, and I think it, it takes me time to kind of, like, work up to my end conclusions. I'm slow, okay, like that. But that's my end conclusion is, like, how can this be happening? Like, how could this, how could a guy with no proof that he is a lawyer present a very poorly constructed case, a very poorly legal case, one of the poorest in terms of, like, like I said, even a first year in law school, uh, trust me, after their first exam and they get their F grade, they're going to figure this out the second time around. You spend, you get a fact set. That's all we really get. You get facts. So you spend time reading the facts, highlighting differences from other cases you know. And, and you, you spend a lot of time looking at the fact set. It doesn't matter if it's real estate law, tax law, immigration law. And you you got to spend time looking at the facts, questioning some of the facts, seeing, you know, what the, if there's conflicting facts, right? There often there are in cases and how to resolve that conflicting and even if those conflicting facts doesn't even matter for the, that fact set. Many times it doesn't. It's a moot point. And yet, everyone is just clapping their hands up, saying, wow, what a great legal guy. What a legal mind. A legal genius is out here giving us the facts of the case. That This is bizarre as hell, my friends. It's bizarre. This was probably the most bizarre thing I've ever seen online. <laughs> We don't even know if the dude's a lawyer, guys. I think he's a lawyer, but we don't have proof he is.